Okay, 3-6, perpendiculars and distance. Tell me something you know about perpendiculars. Creates a 90-degree angle. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of hand signals like this. Okay, a lot of technical fouls being given right now. All right. It's perpendicular. They intersect. They form a 90-degree angle. Talk to me about their slopes. Okay, slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Tell me something about distance. Who can recite the distance formula? Okay, distance, distance formula. It's not the song. Distance formula. Okay, shh. Distance equals square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. Okay, the actual distance formula puts x's in front of y's, but it doesn't make any difference. Okay, it's actually x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, but it doesn't make any difference. Why do we square things inside of a square root? Zai. Distance can only be positive. We've talked about it before. There's a movie called Ferris Bueller's Day Off. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, they take the dad's Ferrari, they go out, they put a bunch of miles on it, they bring it back to the shop, and they put it up on blocks, put it in reverse, hoping that they're going to take miles off of the vehicle. Okay, Which logically makes sense. Okay, If I roll the tires backwards, it should go backwards on the odometer. But that's not how it's created. Because whether or not you go forwards or backwards in a car, your odometer still goes up, okay? Because distance is always positive. So they just added more miles to it until Cameron, which is the guy's name, kicked it off of the jack stand and it rolled out of the shop and went through the glass and crashed into the forest. So it was it was good times. And for yeah, and for those of you who are watching this, you know, who are not in my class right now, that's okay. I'm just off talking on a tangent and I'll get back. All right, so do what? Isn't tangent algebra? Tangent is trigonometry. Okay, so let's take an example. Um, let's just do a distance problem real quick. If I give you the points 4, negative 8, and 2, negative 6, I want you to find the distance. Okay, so go ahead and substitute in and find the distance. Okay, 2 minus 4 squared is going to be what? Okay, negative 2 squared plus negative 6 plus 8. Positive 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4. And 2 squared is 4. So my distance is the square root of 8, right? No. Simplified radical form. What do we have to do here? Tyler. Which is not a whole number, so that doesn't help me. I have to simplify this. How did I simplify? Find the square root, find two, square roots that you can multiply to get two square roots that I can multiply to get 8. What are two factors of 8? 4 and 2. Four and two. So would you agree... That the square root of 8 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2? Yes. yes. And what is the square root of 2? One. It be uh, excuse me. What's the square root of 4? I'm sorry. I said the wrong one. 2. So this is 2 square roots of 2. Okay? Because I just simplified the square root of 4. It's almost like making a factor tree. Old school factor tree. Take the factors. See if you can find a perfect square. The first, you know, perfect square is all the way to 10. We've got 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. Okay, look for those factors that are in those squares. If they're not there, if that was the square root of 7, you just leave it as the square root of 7. Okay, now let's take it a step further. All right, this is going to be um, example number 2 on page 215. We're going to have line L that's got points at negative 5, 3, and 4, negative 6. Yep. Okay. 
Oh, say that again? Square root of 4 is 2. We don't know the square root of 2. You're thinking probably 1 times 1 is 2, but it's not. We don't we don't know what the square root of 2 is. It's like 1 point something, something, something. What? No, 2 square root of 2 is not 8. 2 square root of 2 is the square root of 8. If you found out what the square root, no, it's fine. If you find out what the square root of 8 is, you're going to get a number. And then if you find out what the square root of 2 is and multiply it by 2, you're going to get the exact same number. All right, so I'm going to graph these two points, negative 5, 3, and 4, negative 6. And then I'm going to connect them. Okay, and the question is, find the distance between line L and point 2, 4. This is line L, by the way. Line L. Find the distance between that line and this point. Okay? All right, I'm going to turn the video off so we can think about it for just a minute. Okay, so where do I draw the line to try to find the distance? Maddie, what do you think? You have to find the slope of that line. Of this line. Why? Okay, distance is going to be drawn to the perpendicular. All right, so let's find the slope of this line. Okay, slope formula, uh, Tanner, slope formula. Mm, ben, help him out, slope formula. Hmm, Zach Thomas. Close, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or, what's another thing we could have done? We could have done rise over run. Yep. How do I get from here to here? Okay, so let's go ahead with the slope formula right now. We can do it without graphing. What's y2? Negative 6. What's y1? 3. What's x1, or x2, excuse me? 4. Four minus a negative 5, that's going to be plus 5. What's negative 6 minus 3? Negative 9. What's 4 plus 5? 9. What is negative 9 over positive 9? Negative 1. Negative 1. So that's the slope of this line. Really? Equals. The slope of that line is negative 1. So what's the slope of my perpendicular line? The negative reciprocal. What's the negative reciprocal of negative 1? 1. Okay, so from here, I go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. But I can also do what? Down 1. See the pattern? We're going here, we're going here, we're going here. There it's going to be, right there. Okay. So now, I find the distance from 4, 6 to what point? What point was my perpendicular? Hang on, let me draw the line. Maybe that will help. What's my point at the perpendicular? Negative 2, 0. Okay. How am I going to find the distance from 4, 6 to negative 2, 0? There's two ways to do this one, too. You can use the distance formula, or you can have fun and make a right triangle 
and the distance is the what? The hypotenuse. You could do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Either way. Take your pick. Do you want to use the distance formula? Do you want to use the Pythagorean theorem? Huh? Well, let's see. What's this distance from here to here? Six. What's this distance from here to here? Six. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. So if I used Pythagorean theorem, that would be c squared equals 6 squared plus 6 squared. That's c squared equals 36 plus 36. So c equals square root of 72. I'm just I'm going to I'm going to show it both ways that way you can determine which one you feel is easier. But this isn't simplified yet. There's a perfect square that's in 72. What is it? Oh, bigger. No. There's a perfect square that's in 72. A pretty good size one. 12 is not a perfect square. 36. Okay, 36 goes in there twice. And what is the square root of 36? 6. Okay, now let's do it using the distance formula and see if we come out with 6 square roots of 2. What were the two points? So I don't have to flip back up, Margo. Negative 5, 3, 4, negative 6. Oh, wait. No. Sorry, that was 4, 6, 6 and negative 2, 0. That was way off. Yeah. That was the other right. Okay, now try to find the distance from there. So we're going to have negative 2 minus 4 plus 0 minus 6. See what's happening? the exact same answer. Square root of 72, which is 6 square roots of 2. Is either one of them any shorter? Probably not. It's just what you feel more comfortable with. Do you feel more comfortable drawing the triangle and making it a right triangle? Or do you feel more comfortable using the distance formula? <laughs> if I want to show the distance from C to AD. How would I draw it? If I want to show the distance from C to AD, remember the entire section is about perpendiculars. So wherever you draw this distance, there should be a what, Tyler? There should be a what? A, a right angle. Okay, they'll end up being a right triangle, yes, but let's first concentrate on just the right angle. Okay, so if I took this and I drew it over there, is that a right angle? No. no. If I drew it here, is that a right angle? No. no. How am I going to draw a right angle to AD? What do you think? You straight line from C. Well, all lines are straight. Straight what? Right. You're doing straight what? down, okay, all right, just like that, am I done? No, what do I have to do with AD? Extend it, extend it. okay, I would extend it with a dashed line, okay, that's just my personal preference, because it's not the actual side, it's just the extended side, okay, and that would be your distance. Now, they may want you to label that, you know, distance CE. It just depends on what they're asking for. So just look what the book is asking for. All distance must be drawn to form a right angle. Very crucial part of the lesson. Okay?